anyway, moving along from Model Girl, we got other things to talk about. The heart-to-heart -heart talks with the Judgment Day members, where they're just having the casual conversation about their plans and who they are supposed to be taken care of and everything. Is this something that's getting them less over as as individuals than they were before? Even even Dominic now, they still like to boo him, but he's just standing around. The Judgment Day went from being the big thing on Raw, involved in all the main stuff, kind of like the bloodline of Raw, to being the upper mid-card, sometimes comedy afterthought on Raw with everything else going on. They make and they make it multiple segments, but it's going to be a comedy segment, a bad backstage drama segment, and nothing that puts anyone in that group over as being on the level of the serious main eventers. And and that's what this was here because Truth came in and they had to do the stagey repartee and then they let him hang out in their clubhouse wherever that is, then he finds the t-shirts and gets an idea. And then we go to J.D. Funko versus The Miz. And if, uh, I'll, I'll skip ahead and be the spoiler. J.D.'s about to put Miz away, but Truth comes out and starts throwing out all the T-shirts that he found for free to the people. And then they have more match. <laughs> and finally, our truth is there and hands J.D. about 10 grand. Now, how, where do you get this money when he was just throwing them out? to people at random when he came out, but now he's got this giant stack of $100 bills that he's picked up wherever the fuck, and as he hands JD the 10 grand or whatever it is, Miz hits his finish from behind one, two, three. Money, so, money goes flying in the air. Money goes flying in the air. And again, I remain pissed off that not a motherfucker went for a grab for one of those bills. And it looks like $10,000, but for me, for $198 and $1 bills, I had to get sucker punched in Memphis that night. And so, uh, truth, it, it's he. yes, I understand what you say. He's good at what he does. If you're going to do complete Gilligan's Island-type comedy where nothing can be taken seriously, he's doing it well. But it just makes everybody involved look like complete idiots, doesn't it? In the Judgment Day. Again, they've <sighs> become kind of an afterthought. Rhea hasn't, but her segments now are just really about Rhea dealing with Nia Jax or Becky or whoever. She shows up every now and then in the back for these Judgment Day things, and then she's busy doing other <laughs> things. And she was the biggest star in that group. Eh, I mean, eh. maybe what would help them would be a good night's sleep. You know, I never thought of it that way. But maybe if they if they laid their head down and got a good night's sleep, they could dream about something to make people take them a little more seriously and start doing that. Is that you know, as a matter of fact, if you go right now, folks, to helixsleep.com, that's where you gotta go. Helixsleep.com, you're gonna find out that not only do they have mattresses for People who like sleep on their side or on their back or on their stomach or big and tall people or portly and stout and morbidly obese people or children or amputees. They've got mattresses for everybody. Mattresses they for also, everybody. We don't need to distinguish yes, who everybody well, is. We 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 got to name all these subgroups because people give you a shout out to people out there, the sick and shut-ins, people that need the mattresses the most. They can't get out to a normal mattress store and hop up and down and Test out the mattresses. If you're sick and shut in on a mattress at home, you need another mattress delivered to your home. Or if you're like one of the people we were talking about before and you need to think seriously when you're asleep, go to helixsleep.com right now and, and pick out one of the mattresses for people who like to think seriously when they sleep. Because Helix has all these kind of mattresses. They've got the Helix Elite Collection. The elite is, I was thinking luxurious, I was thinking high-priced, I was thinking supreme, but I didn't think about elite because it has negative connotations around the wrestling industry, but they have the elite collection over at Elite. At, at, at Elite, at, yes. At, She's a wonderful lady. 
that includes six different mattress models, each tailored for specific sleep positions and firmness preferences. So if you're a serious sleeper, just put that down on the little quiz. Let's say you want to be able to, what, what, what kind of dreams do you want to have? You take a quiz and they'll ask you things like this. How do you sleep? What position? You like soft or firm? Are you corpulently, morbidly obese? Or are you a little skinny, skeletal person? How much stuffing do we have to put in this thing? That kind of question. Are you a skeletal person? Yes. Really? Okay. A very bony person doesn't need as much stuffing, see? <laughs> but it's if, if you're a big, fat son of a bitch... Then they got to put more stuffing in or you'll wear down into it'll look like fucking, you know, uh, Mrs. Bates's mattress in, in, at the fucking Bates Motel. So they got to put extra stuffing in for fat people. Well, no, again, the point it, is, you know, it, no it, matter it's, it's who you are. A mattress for fat people is like an, a, a private plane for fat people. When they're getting on the airplane, they ask, how much do you weigh so we can figure out how, to, how much fuel to put in? You just, just fill it up. Again, they have mattresses for everybody, no matter who you are, your age, your weight, anything. Yes. Great mattresses. Don't worry about what they're going to put in it. They're going to take care of you and what you need on your mattress to get a good night's sleep. Isn't that right, Jim? You know there's asbestos in some mattresses. There is no, no, there is none no, of that No, there, there is. Sleep. There truly is. The, the people at Helix told me some of these mattress companies, they put asbestos and shit no, in there. Stop. There's nothing the like that. The people at Helix never said that to you, and there's no there's none of that in the Helix no, sleep No, it's, it's been in the news. It's been in the news. You may have seen on social media or in the news recently, there's been a number of health issues and lawsuits related to Oh, it's fiberglass. I thought it was asbestos. Well, nevertheless, whether you, do you want to sleep on fiberglass or asbestos? Either one. No, you don't. Well, Helix doesn't have that because they manufacture everything here in America where we've got good old-fashioned American-made toxic waste that gives you all kinds of cancers. Once again, let's, let's those... talk about these fine mattresses and not have to worry yes. about any of these other things. These mattresses, you can get a good night rest and a good night's sleep and just... A nap whenever you need it, it's there. Yes. Or if you need your mattress for something else, if you're one of the few of us that have happy marriages, then you might need your mattress for something else. You know, they say many people say that they experience pleas more pleasant relations on a Helix sleep mattress than the other mattresses because there's not that fiberglass. So they're well, not cutting their knees and elbows. Again, this is not necessarily a statistic we have, so let's not quote a statistic it's anecdotal. we don't have. It's anecdotal. Okay, Colin. Uh, anecdotally, why don't we talk about <laughs> where people can get these fine mattresses? Anecdotally, you can go to, and your pet can sleep on the mattresses. Oh, you don't get one of the kids' mattress for your for your pets, your dogs or cats, because the kids and the dogs are about the same size. No, dogs are nicer and they don't cause less trouble. Well, again, no, but uh, but that way your your pet would be sleeping on the same thing that you're sleeping on, and there would be a bond amongst the family. But right now, what you can do to do all of these things and not sleep with your face buried in a big fucking bunch of asbestos is go right now to helixsleep.com slash JCE and use the code. You may need to write this down. I'll wait till you get a pen and a piece of paper. Now use the code helix partner 20 H E L I X partner. 20. Some people spell partner P A R D N E R. Did you know that? Because you know partner, but it's actually partner because you're you're nerd to their parts. That's where the root of the terminology comes from. So Helix Partner 20 at helixsleep.com slash J C E. You're going to get 20% off all the mattresses and two free pillows. And I believe if you order two mattresses, you would get four free pillows and, well, you'd get 20% off each mattress, which would total 40%. So it'll go up exponentially for there. I think by the time you order five mattresses, you're getting them all for free and 10 pillows. So you can start your own flop house. Did I do that math right? You got to order five mattresses to get the 10 free pillows and to get it 100% free of charge I don't of any cost to you i don't think you've done any of this right because each one is 20 percent off and two free pillows once again jim how can the listeners get this great mattress 
that after all the fun and games of Jim Cornette, they may need a good night rest if they have a co-host who's giving them heart palpitations. Where can they go to get this fine mattress? That's helixsleep.com slash JCE and use the code HELIXPARTNER20 and you'll be a partner of Helix, whether you're 20 years old or not. That's right, Helix Sleep. A fine mattress, but we have to wake up and finish raw because we have to keep moving on. There's so much to go over. Well, in that case...